Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Legal Tender from Jackson Robinson and Kings Wild. All right, so what is the Legal Tender deck? Uh, this was a Kickstarter originally. It was a Kickstarter successfully funded and there was two decks with this. Uh, both of these decks revolved around currency. They revolved around money. Uh, one was the United States, which is the one I have, and this is the one I'll be reviewing for you today. And the other one was for China. All right, so the inspiration behind this deck, like I said, uh, illustrated playing cards from Jackson Robinson over at Kings Wild, uh, inspired by currencies of the world. Uh, you might remember several years ago, Jackson, he started on this journey of designing playing cards. So Federal 52 was his first release. I got all of those, loved them. Um, over those years, he's grown just a lot more as an illustrator and as a playing card designer, uh, he's designed for himself, he's designed for really big names in the industry like David Blaine. And so it's, I think it's his hope now that with this new project, uh, Legal Tender, he'll take everything he learned from all of those lessons and all those experiences and all those years and kind of create the most artistic deck he can. Uh, Legal Tender is the natural evolution of this incredible love for currency, art, uh, banknote art, and hopefully what this project does is it inspires even more decks in this series that kind of champion the vastly different styles and looks of currency around the world. The front of the tuck case uh, is all done in the colors of money. Like, this looks like what money looks like, right? It's that same kind of green tone. You can't just use green, right? You just can't use green. It has to be a certain type of green that actually looks like U.S. currency. And you'll notice that it does have um, really beautiful embossing. Uh, on the top there, you can read uh, legal tender in that green foil. Uh, both sides say legal tender in foil. The the bottom has some ad copy about Jackson Robinson and uh, Kings Wild. You got some foil uh, logos there as well. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. The top says Legal Tender. That's also in foil. Just foil, foil, foil all the way around this. Um, the front it has a lot of different images from what from currency. You have the the, seat, the seal there. Uh, you got the Kings Wild logo. It says 2016. You have the All Seeing Eye. It says Kings Wild Project underneath that. So yeah, just on and on and on. Just beautiful engraving kind of slash banknote slash currency uh, look to it. The tongue flap is a nice big fat tongue flap. It has the King's Wild uh, logo there. Then the two inside tuck flaps have the all-seeing eye. And then on the inside, you got foil on the inside. Like how often, I don't know, except for King's Wild decks, how often do you see foil on the inside tuck lining. You got uh, foil on the inside tuck lining, and then you have this beautiful script work, beautiful script work carrying all the way down inside the tuck box. Where else but King's Wild do you get such a beautiful, artistically designed tuck case? Nowhere, I say nowhere. Uh, that's pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed in connection with a partnership with Expert Playing Card Company, uh, but they didn't use the Taiwan Playing Card Company like they normally do. They used a new printer out in Taipei. Now, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel and how they handle. Uh, so when I, when I hold on to these, they, they do feel a little like they have a plasticky kind of glossy surface to them. And uh, they also feel stiff. They feel stiff, but they're not thick, okay? They're thinner cards but they're just stiff feelings. So actually, if I take 10 of these cards and I stick them into a caliper, I measure 10 of these and that's, use that as my base and then compare that against other decks that I have in my collection. 10 of these in the caliper comes to 2.74. See, that's definitely on the low end. 2.74 is about the same thickness as the Aurelian cards, the Killer Bees from Illusionist and the Mondrian deck. With this deck, you're gonna get a diptych of Mount Rushmore, and I would guess these are either your extra cards or your jokers, however you wanna use them. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful uh, like line drawing of Mount Rushmore. Your Ace of Spades is a huge, big, bold, graphic illustration. Uh, you got the seal at the top, the all-seeing eye, it says United States. You have the giant golden pip there in the center. Underneath that, it says King's Wild Project. Uh, yeah, one of the biggest, most beautiful Ace of Spades uh, Jackson has done to date. Each one of your pips and indice suits are gonna be completely different. Uh, they've all been completely redesigned. You're gonna have the classic uh, Jackson Robinson pips and indices, of course, but it's the surface of that, it's the background behind it that's a little different. Uh, one of the things you're gonna notice right away is that each one of the backdrops is a different color. 
each one of the backgrounds is a different color, so much so that when you like fan the cards face up, you have a little striation of different colors, especially when they're all in suit order, you see like these giant blocks of color. So that's a really interesting aesthetic that I've never seen before. Um, the hearts, there's a watermark in the background of like an eagle's head. The clubs has the presidential seal uh, eagle in the background. The diamonds has the top of the Statue of Liberty in the background. And then the spades has like a document from Congress with like text and scripting. Now your court cards are all gonna be images of famous people from our United States history lifted from currency, banknotes, and other places. So right away, I think you're gonna notice a lot of familiar faces like Andrew Jackson, George Washington, Hamilton, right? People you've seen on the $1, $5, $10 bill. But then you're also going to get a lot of new people, maybe uh, their image you've never seen before, either on currency, banknote, or whatever. As a card collector and as a person who appreciates Jackson's work, uh, there's a lot in this deck that I enjoy and I was glad to have picked it up. If you'd like to learn more about Jackson Robinson or you want to see more of his cards or just uh, follow him on any of his social media platforms, head on down to Kings Wild and be sure to subscribe to him on his YouTube channel. He's got lots of of cool like behind the scene videos. Uh, follow him on Facebook and Twitter. He's very uh, prolific as far as what he puts out there and what he shares with his public. And so, uh, yeah. All right, so that's my review of Legal Tender from Jackson Robinson and King's Wild Project. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy, twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you ever need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.